resolution in MassPack is an essential issue and nowadays uh, many instruments are available with, with high or ultra high resolution and uh, FTICRMS now come to the stage where uh, you can use this technology routinely. Uh, when we got our instrument installed, that was 12 years ago. Um, that time only few instruments of that type were available and uh, we had installation of a 12 Tesla system, which we were proud to be the first time in Europe that time. Um, so we faced uh, actually uh, a data resolution with fine structure, with high resolution, which we ha still have now, uh, which is about four to 500,000 in resolution as a mat as a, at a mass 400. 500 and uh, having this this level of resolution really enables you directly to go into the composition space uh, and to describe this of your sample. You get rid of your mass scale and you really look only at the compositions and their relative abundances in the system which are relative to the uh, inefficiencies uh, in the system. So we were setting up our platform uh, using FTI, CRMS and, and the other technology present here, LCMS and NMR, which we integrate in some projects uh, as a, a metabolomic pipeline that can be used sample independently. Uh, from the center, our main interest uh, is in health, uh, related uh, to lifestyle and environment, uh, means uh, nutrition, for example, or allergies where we profile uh, molecules in biological systems uh, that can be cell cultures, that can be body fluids uh, all over, blood, urine, exhaled breath condensate, or fecal water extracts as a proxy for microbiome. Um, gut microbiome is one of our approach uh, we have over years, uh, where we profile metabolites reflecting microbial composition and uh, doing so with a meta approach on metabolomics, uh, profiling these metabolites, we're able to integrate this information with the other omics technologies, meaning deep coming from deep sequencing, metaprote metaproteomics or metatranscriptome. Um, there is a lot of development in this field in terms of data integration, and um, having the different views of the samples uh, enables to go further in understanding uh, the intime processes uh, which are occurring actually in, in, in the object of interest. Well, in the field of diabetes or obesity, for example, um, you saw over the last years studies coming out relative to genome-wide association studies, um, which were done with uh, rather lower resolution type of metabolomics approaches. Uh, some projects we are running right now are related to big cohort numbers, where we involve uh, high resolution ultra-high resolution FTI-CRMS in the profiling of these thousands of metabolites. Covering hundreds of known metabolites, uh, we can follow up, but also the thousands of unknowns. And that's where the work is starting and where the development uh, has to be done in, in going into correlation and finding out the metabolites and the conjugations uh, which are occurring in the unknown part.